Okay, so the, just to to what we're going to talk about, I'm going to try to I'm going to discuss the need for a process approach to benchmarking. Why we decided the standard version was a process was necessary, and outline the progress of the standard to date. Um, okay, start with some basic definitions. What is the benchmark? The benchmark, as a noun, is the value of some measure or derived measure which is indicative of the relationship between an organizational attribute and the values of that attribute maintained in a benchmarking repository or some other standard. As a verb, it's essentially the job of carrying out those processes necessary to establish the relative value of these uh, attributes with respect to the data repository or whatever other standard you do for comparison purposes. Okay, what does that all mean? Well, essentially it means a benchmark is a comparative study with at least one other source of performance data. This may be quantitative or qualitative. Um, you'll be familiar with benchmarking organizations who provide these sort of services to companies. Now, why do we feel that it's necessary to take a fairly formalized, I suppose, process approach? Well, I've been involved in lots of benchmarks these days and now with various roles, um, often trying to explain results after a benchmark has been conducted. M many, many companies find these results less useful than they had anticipated. They um, often do not understand the results and what they mean. It's not unusual for them to have gone into a benchmark with a fairly vague idea of what their requirements really are. They they see that they may have some need for a benchmark and, and off they go and commission one from somebody. But they don't explore first what it is they themselves are trying to establish. What, what are their information needs? What do they want to get from this benchmark? As a result of which, benchmarking has, in some organizations, quite a bad name. Now, I think that name is, bad, is, un, is undeserved in, in, most, in most every case I've seen. Um, Few, few companies think about or understand the need for the currency of the data that they're talking about, um, the complexities that surround like-for-like -like comparison, the implications of different types of benchmarking, and the implications on their results of the changing work type. I've seen benchmarks used as a way of assessing the progress of outsourcing um, contracts. And over a couple of years, the work that's being asked for changes so dramatically that the figures that related to the individual performance benchmarks no longer match up. And it's, that's, a, that's an issue that people need to think through uh, and understand the implications of. Many of uh, companies, as I say, enter into benchmarks without a very clear expression of their information needs. Consequently, they tend to buy a standard product from some provider where they could have had a much better tailored benchmark. Um, and as a result, companies, when they see results, often give them more information than they began to realize was possible. They then find that when they ask questions about that, the provider can't necessarily answer them because, of course, the questions weren't structured to look at deeper answers to the question because they hadn't set out this issue as a, as a start. Um, it's therefore imperative, at least in my view, that before undertaking a benchmark, a good, clear understanding of your information needs is made explicit within your organization to all of your stakeholders and, of course, to the p potential providers of a benchmark service. Comparisons need to be carefully thought through between organizations. Are they doing the same type of development? Is one company in-house and the other one outsourced? That can make quite a difference. And, and so all of these things need to be compared. Um, we also need to think, do we need to compare like with like? The very, very early pioneer of benchmarking was ranked Xerox, who on one occasion compared themselves with a local baker. That might seem odd, but it taught them quite a lot about managing um, fast turning, uh, fast turn through items on a, in, a, in a warehouse. So that we see that it's not a simple, straightforward phone somebody and get a benchmark. Okay, we have worked on a standard process now uh, uh, through ISBSG for about um, four years. It's been in late draft for some time now. Um, it's now become an ISO new work item last year. Um, 
the basic process defines a process which is applicable to all software related software engineering related uh, disciplines and uh, software engineering management and, and all of those things it's modeled on an ISO called 15939 which is just called the software measurement process for those of you are not familiar with that the software engineering institute have a measurement model called goal direct measurement uh, which I think you can still download for no money whatever off their website and that's it follows essentially the same process uh, as the 15939 they're pretty well compatible um, it, the process doesn't re recommend a particular type of benchmark the, the type of benchmark you need to do will depend on what it is you want to learn we, the process does not seek to provide a set of benchmarks the, the process doesn't set out the standard doesn't set out a standard set of performance data that you should be able to match up to that's not the purpose the purpose is for you to understand what your requirements are and then to go and find a suitable set of data against which to compare yourself so the process allows you it provides a series of steps which allow you basically to define the most suitable set of benchmarks for you and that address your specific information needs the process may be tailored and indeed should be tailored to the specific needs of your organization uh, the process we describe this process to a model that defines the activities um, and, and how these are measured and results might be applied and how to determine if they are valid the process is, is intended to be flexible and tailorable um, like many processes that you'd see and similar to things like the CMI it may look a bit overwhelming to start with but tailor, tailor it down to suit what you need <clears throat> as I say it's based on the ISO but it'll be it's an equally useful uh, model would be the core directed measurement from the SEI it's very very similar okay who needs this process what's it what's it for who's it intended to be who's the audience the basic audience is intended for IT management um, whether they belong in-house or whether they are outsourced suppliers of IT services um, you're somebody who's responsible for specifying a benchmark service or you're someone who works in the area of providing benchmark services we believe this standard will be useful as a process model for all of those um, all of that audience range so what types of benchmarking can we be talking about clearly the benchmark comparing yourself to someone else is going to be an external benchmark you're comparing your organization against another organization and the idea being to gain information that identifies within your organization that areas where you can improve performance and hopefully the actions necessary to improve performance peer group benchmarking would be comparison with peers where we're talking now about possibly divisions or sites within an organization um, in order to monitor performance across a whole organization there are many organizations that are global these days and you may want to compare your sites in the US with sites in Europe with sites in China um, to see how performance is across that whole range of the, of the thing we also find people who do a periodic essentially performance review benchmarking themselves against their previous um, review so you have an annual or a biannual uh, or possibly as much as five yearly that seems rather long to me um, cycle where a benchmark baseline is established and then periodic comparisons of performance are made um, that allows you to see that your performance is improving or is not improving as the case may be uh, as it's internal anyway it's completely tailored or should be to your your needs it also allows you to monitor as performance you can do